Hi there, and welcome once again to the weeknight show. Terry Richard is on assignment. He'll be back tomorrow night, which means this is Christine's this is last night on the show for a while. Last night together. Anyway, this is a happy day because this is the 50th anniversary of NBC, that's radio and TV, and they've gone all the way from the Major Bowes Amateur Hour to the Gong Show. So you can just see the progress that has been made in, in 50 years. Speaking of radio, there's a, there's a top disc jockey around that I think you'll be interested in. Theater on radio is often thought of in terms of days gone by, but there are still a few examples of it around. In fact, one radio personality makes a fair living doing comedy on radio, Dr. Don Rose. KC <laughs> and the Sunshine Band and Dr. Dodd just shaking your booty. What you do see is put your booty in this blender and you'll get the shake of the month. That's why. <laughs> Rose, Dr. Donald D. Same old voice, same old face, but I got a brand new tooth. Now I ask you, is this any way for a 42-year-old graduate in management and business administration to make a living? You're darn right it is, and a good one too. KFRC's Dr. Don Rose is the only DJ doing this sort of radio show. And apparently it's working, because ratings are high. But things have not always been so rosy for Dr. Don. He had three jobs in a year and a half when he started 21 years ago. And he wondered if he should go into another line of work. But he hung in there, and over the years this approach was developed. It is a radio comedy show five days a week, with open season on almost everything, including the boss. A little uh, 610 weather! In fact, it's going to be a great... I'm not going to comment on the weather. I'm not going to comment on it. Yesterday, I said to the boss, Wow! Isn't the weather been great that we've been having lately? The boss says, We. Suddenly, you're a partner. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be dynamite! <laughs> Sunny and warm with a high about 75. Over in the valley, it's going to be into the 80s today. Beautiful weather. Rose writes the material and plans the sound effects, but without an engineer like Steve Rudd, it wouldn't work so well. Rose says he is the best in the nation. He may be the best audience, too, because he laughs at almost everything. And that's not easy. So while you're listening to music, the two are busy working and planning on the next gag, using a language that is almost foreign-sounding. Conversation on the phone, just this end of it. And then a quadruple snort and say to Bank of America. FRC, Rhonda Lindstad, Dr. Don, 810 in San Francisco, or in Alamo, or Sacramento, or wherever. You know, it's, it's that same time all over. If you're hearing me, it's 810. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, you're no good. It's almost like they say, insecurity means always having to say you're sorry, right? It's, good grief. I better answer that. It might be the phone. Hello? Yes? Hello? Yes, this is Dr. Don. What? Oh, gee, how should I know? <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Some idiot wanted to know what a millennium was. Gee, I don't think I could tell you that in a thousand years. <laughs> to Jay Rosenberg and his four siblings, Dr. Don is the fellow who buys the soccer balls. To Kay, he has been husband for 18 years, which is unusual. Radio personalities are notoriously bad risks. We like each other. Yeah, and we basically. like each other. You know, uh, we get very few times around our house where we can sit down and talk together. So I'll take Kay out to dinner, and we may sit there for two and a half hours, and we've never, ever run out of something to talk about. I, I also have the feeling with five children that maybe Don isn't the disciplinarian in the house. That's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, he's the buddy. Listen, I've never raised a hand to any of my children except in self-defense. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Do you right. have the feeling sometimes maybe you have six children? Always. <laughs> Always, yes. <laughs> this is one of his better days, actually. It's an odd place for a man with a, a B.A. in business administration to be. I mean, uh, did you just get hooked and unable to let go? Mm hmm I had planned on a career in nuclear physics, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> oh, God help us. <laughs> yes, I, I was just going to say that. <laughs> and I think it was my chemistry uh, teacher that advised me to go into radio. <laughs> he must have been trying to tell me something. I'm curious, where did the doctor come from? Well, you probably thought I was a dentist. <laughs> but actually, uh, I was always a podiatrist. I was always at the foot of my class. <laughs> Actually, I studied medicine in Cairo. I'm a chiropractor. 
<laughs> Took medicine for five years and I'm still sick. I had to ask. For weeknight, I'm John Ryan. <laughs> And I understand that he's had 11 jobs in 21 years, and he says this is it. This, this is the only one he's had as a, a radio DJ. Now, that's a good question. Yes. I think, is it really? Yeah, I think that's what you You know that? Said. No, for sure. I don't know anything that's a fact. for sure. No. You're just saying. No. <laughs> anyway, he, he's planning to retire after this. If he goes off the air from, from this show, he's going to retire and do the weeknight I'll show. I blame him. Something he's like that. expended too much energy. <laughs> we'll be back with more in just a moment.